In Commonwealth v. Carr, a defendant on trial for homicide tried to raise the defense of homosexual panic to reduce a charge of murder to manslaughter. Claudia Brenner and Rebecca White were out hiking in the Appalachian Trail in central Pennsylvania. Thinking they were alone in the woods, they were making love at their campsite when someone started shooting at them. Brenner was shot in the arm, face, neck, and head. White got up to run behind a tree, but was shot in the head and back. Brenner, who was still ambulatory, tried to lift White to her feet, but White was unresponsive. Brenner went to seek help. By the time she returned, White had died. Suspicion settled on Stephen Roy Carr, who'd been living in the woods for some months. Carr was arrested on a fugitive warrant in Florida. He was tried for first-degree murder in Pennsylvania court. Carr asked the court to reduce the charge to voluntary manslaughter on the grounds that he'd shot Brenner and White in the heat of passion. He wanted to submit evidence of his history of rejection by women, including his own mother, and his retreat to the mountains to avoid further rejection. This psychosexual history, he claimed, would prove that the women's nudity and homosexual activity provoked him into a violent passion. The court found this evidence irrelevant and refused to allow it. The trial judge found Carr guilty of first-degree murder. He was sentenced to life imprisonment. Carr appealed to the Pennsylvania Superior Court. He argued that the court should have admitted the evidence, which would have justified reducing the charge from murder to voluntary manslaughter.